Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem A from the latest code forces round 650 division 3 short substrings. So it is a very simple problem. You can read the question statements, but in the simple term you are actually given a string B and you have to form string A. So how this string B is formed from string A if you take just consecutive substrings of length 2 and concatenate them then B is formed. As you can see in string A if you just take uh, substrings of length 2 so this is AB then BA then AC as you can see all of them. If you just concatenate them one by one this string is formed. So you have you are given this string and you have to again form this string. So this is a simple question you just have to draw it on a paper and you will become more clear. So I have written down here which is if you get if you are given this substring if you are given like this is the so actually what does this mean this is among the first two characters there is one character which is in string a because every substring of length 2 because a b is this b a is this okay so what you can do here is you are given b you can break it into length of two substrings okay now what you can easily see here is in the new string a b should be present the first string should be always be present why because as you can see you always because in the in the original string you always take the first two characters as a substring so in the in the or in the answer the first string the first two characters should be there because that will be the first part the, the first substring of a so that you can take now as you can see on the later part this is a substring okay so as you can see if for this example only now the next substring is b a okay which is the next term so you have taken a b now the next term is a which is in in the next two alphabets the second alphabet so now the pattern can be in the whole string first you take the two characters which is always there because it is the first substring now because the second letter is just the same as this letter as you can see so the next word in the original string will be this the this word this character so First take the first two alphabets and then for every two alphabets just take the second alphabet. For every two alphabets just take the second alphabet. Every two character just take the second alphabet. Because for every two characters joining the second alphabet will form the string. Because as you can see now if you just take this two strings this is formed for this two this is formed for this two this is formed this two this is formed. This too, this is wrong. I hope you understand the logic now. So the code is also very simple. In which you first take the input of S, find its length N, then take an empty string answer. First concatenate the first two characters of the given string S0 and S1 and then start from the third character. As you can see, this is the 0, 1, 2, 3. If you take the first two characters, then from the next two characters, so this the index of this is 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. And you have to jump two steps. Because for every two characters, you have to take the second one. So start from this, which is the index 3, jump two spaces. This is jump two spaces and so on. So that's what start from 3 less than equal to n plus plus i plus equal to 2 and concatenate that character and answer and finally output the answer. I hope you understand the logic. The subsequent videos will consist of other solutions. So stay tuned and thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.